Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome back to our class, BAA 4273, the Earthquake and Wind Engineering. Today, we stayed in topic number four, which is the seismic design of reinforced concrete buildings. For part number three, which is for the seismic resistance structures and the vertical configuration problems. In this video, I will talk about the seismic resistance structures. There are three types of seismic resisting systems, which is the shear wall, the brace frames, and then the, the moment frames. Okay, so the stiffness is decreased from shear wall to the moment frames. This is the example of shear wall. Okay, you can see the wall here. This is the brace frame. You can see the bracing from joint to joint, and then this is the moment frames. Okay. The system will act as a cantilever system grounded by foundation, rise up to resist horizontal load and increase tension and compression at base of wall or column. So we assume that this is your support and this is your vertical cantilever system. This one is your support. So to resist the horizontal load from the left and from the, from the right. Okay, first we take a look on the shear wall. Okay, this is designed to resist the horizontal force. We cannot afford to build concrete buildings meant to resist severe earthquake without the shear wall. This is according to Mark Finter. The advantages of shear wall is easy to, con to construct. You can minimize horizontal deflection and damage. But the, the disadvantages is challenges to meet architectural form and increase in cost okay because we has a wall here so it's uh, difficult for us to maybe provide uh, i mean uh, access uh, to the uh, from one floor uh, from one uh, room to another room okay this is the type of uh, story height and then the type of materials to be used you can read by your own letter. Okay, and this is a couple RC wall when two or more walls connected by deep coupling beams act as a highly penetrated single wall. Coupling beam forces the wall to work together to resist the seismic force. And plastic hinge forms in coupling beam and base of walls. Okay, this is an example of a single wall and this is the couple shear wall okay this coupling beam okay coupling beam this one the coupling beam act as a connector which connecting wall number one to wall number two and it will act together to resist the the forces laterally and then the plastic hinge is expected to be formed within the coupling beam and the base of the shear wall. Okay, this is the example of construction of shear wall. You can see this is a very rigid wall here. And this one we have an opening for window. Okay, this is and the second system is the brace frame. It can be divided into three types, which is the tension and compression, tension only, or the eccentric. You can see here the difference between all these three types of base frames. Okay, this one is the for tension and compression. This one is for tension only, and this is a eccentrically installed base frame. Okay, this is the suitability of material to be used either wood or steel okay you can read this one okay this is the example of the uh, brace frame this one is from steel this is for tension only this is for from timber and this is also from steel this might be from oh, i think this is steel eh? inside still inside okay and then the third one is the moment frame. Moment frame is the 
transfer okay transfer the force through the bending it designed for combination of gravity and static forces three main characteristic is its deep columns columns and beams with similar depth and the rigid connections advantages of using the moment frames is minimum disruptions of spacing minimum structural footprints and maximum opportunity for light and view because we not have a permanent shear wall here so we are able for uh, mean we can minimize the disruption of spacing okay and this is uh, another requirement structural requirement of the moment frames this one is for column we must build the strong column weak beam to ensure the ductile column and for rectangular shape of column the strength is in one direction only let's say this one okay this is the rectangular column so the strength is for from for this direction only and also this direction okay over okay either from top or bottom and for circular and square column the strength is in two direction means this is if we have a square column either from here or from here okay so let's say this is x and this is y direction are they positive or negative okay and then uh, this is the suitability of materials for moment frames for wood for steel and for the reinforced concrete okay this is the ductility for the moment frames we must provide the strong column weak beam concept okay this strong column weak beam is important in seismic design because we want to uh, avoid the soft story mechanism avoid the soft story and when then we want to more hinges uh, more hinges means less damage we want the plastic hinge to be separated through the whole building okay if if we design for weak column and strong beam which means uh, the beam is stronger than column so the damage severe damage occurs to column at ground floor like this condition so we don't want this we must avoid these situations because this is not not good for structure performance it will give a uh, very very high dis the high uh, deflection here and the third column will easily damage here okay and we prefer damage at beam ends okay not the not the damage on column but the damage on beam okay this is an example of the moment frames to be used okay and how about the mixed systems mixed systems is two or more different structural systems act together advantages is the, it increase the redundancy it's good for high rise where the wall will resist force at lower floor and the frame will resist force at upper floor it will add the damping at the strength and it, uh, limiting the deflection the disadvantage is it's difficult to determine the force pass and it requires powerful powerful computer analysis okay they say if we have wall here and this is uh, the the frame member we call we call as a mixed system or dual system okay that's all for this part thank you very much uh, hope you can uh, do your own reading for better understanding that's all thank you so much all the best see you again in the next video